We want to turn our attention to traffic this morning and see what's going on around Oahu. We also want to check in with Ryan Kalei Suji to find out what is happening here on Oahu after Flossie has passed. Ryan? Hey, good morning, Paul. That's right. Well, it's a gloomy day, a gloomy start to the day here in Honolulu as those winds uh, kind of picking up here, some of the remnants of Flossie. But Oahu was spared much of the brunt yesterday uh, as that storm made its way up the island chain. Again, Oahu really just seeing a lot of uh, rain, consistent rain throughout the day. There were some areas that saw a little bit larger downpours than others. Uh, we're getting reports this morning of some down power poles that actually occurred in the Palolo area, although no uh, customers lost power doing that. Uh, but again, we also saw some lightning that ranged everywhere from Mililani to Hawaii Kai that happened at about 7 p.m. Uh, the wet weather also made for some dangerous driving conditions on Oahu roadways. HPD reports as many as nine separate car crashes occurred in just one hour uh, last night. Now, six of those crashes occurred within and just outside the Wilson Tunnel off the Lique Lique Highway. Police completely shut down the Kaneohe bound side of the highway while they cleared on the wreckage. Now, officers say it was a combination of both slick roads and speeding that were to blame. Now, the real impact from Flossie was felt out in the surf department at Sandy Beach in East Oahu. Lifeguards performed 10 rescues as, as uh, 4 p.m. yesterday with 230 preventative actions. Now, the preventative actions are people that were warned before getting into trouble. At Makapu'u Beach, about three rescues were made and about uh, 10, uh, uh, excuse me, 100 preventative measures were taken. Now, surf was in the 10 to 15 foot range out there on the east side. We also got report of a small rock slide that happened uh, near the blowhole out in that area in East Honolulu as well. Now, initially, those services that the city usually provides uh, were cut a little short. Of course, everything from transportation to trash service. The mayor actually cut off uh, his workers and let them go home, home early as early as 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The state letting workers go at about 3.30. All those county services were being towed, as well as state services, will be back functioning as normal uh, business hours starting today. And again, that high surf advisory continues to remain in effect for those east-facing shores till about noon today. Back to you, Paul.